the doctrine of the application of the work of redemption. I. Soteriology in general. A. Connection between soteriology and the preceding Loki. Soteriology deals with the communication of the blessings of salvation to the sinner and his restoration to divine favor, and to a life in intimate communion with God. It presupposes knowledge of God as the all-sufficient source of the life, the strength, and the happiness of mankind, and of man's utter dependence on him for the present and the future. Since it deals with restoration, redemption, and renewal, it can only be understood properly in the light of the original condition of man as created in the image of God and of the subsequent disturbance of the proper relationship between man and his God by the entrance of sin into the world. Moreover, since it treats of the salvation of the sinner wholly as a work of God, known to him from all eternity, it naturally carries our thoughts back to the eternal counsel of peace and the covenant of grace, in which provision was made for the redemption of fallen men. It proceeds on the assumption of the completed work of Christ as the mediator of redemption. There is the closest possible Connection between Christology and Soteriology. Some, as, for instance, Hodge, treat of both under the common heading, Soteriology. Christology then becomes objective, as distinguished from subjective, Soteriology. In defining the contents of Soteriology, it is better to say that it deals with the application of the work of redemption than to say that it treats of the appropriation of salvation. The matter should be studied theologically rather than anthropologically. The work of God rather than the work of man is definitely in the foreground. Pope objects to the use of the former term, since in using it, we are in danger of the predestinarian error, which assumes that the finished work of Christ is applied to the individual according to the fixed purpose of an election of grace. This is the very reason why a Calvinist prefers to use that term. To do Pope justice, however, it should be added that he also objects to the other term, because it tends to the other and Pelagian extreme, too obviously making the atoning provision of Christ a matter of individual free acceptance or rejection. He prefers to speak of the administration of redemption, which is indeed a very good term. Christian theology, 2, page 319.